Rusty Erasmus is named his match day 23 man squad to take on Portugal in Bloemfontein this Saturday. Lekker. First test between the Springboks and Portugal. How good. I love that they've brought this in. I think the Wallabies play Georgia. Um, Springboks obviously now playing Portugal. Tier 1 nations playing against Tier 2 nations. How good. Lovely to see. Good for the growth of the sport worldwide. Fantastic to see. Can't wait for it. Before we get into it, hit that like, subscribe. Let me know in the comments what you guys thought. A ton of changes made in the Springbok team from their de defeat to Ireland last week. Let me know in the comments what you guys think of this team and how they'll go against Portugal. Hit that subscribe. Let's get into it. So Rossi's made a ton of changes in this team. Just looking at it, so from Ireland, from the game against Ireland last week, the only one left over who started that game was Kirtley Aronsa, uh, Murat and Sneiman were on the bench, but they're starting this weekend. And then Gumuzulu was on the bench as well last week, and he's still on the bench this week. So running through the team, Jan Hendrik Vessels, Johan Grobola and Thomas Tutoy up front, Salman Murat and Erges Sneiman in the lock, Salman Murat with the captain's armband, then Pepsi, Butelezi, Ben, Jason Dixon, and Ivan Ruiz, the Blues trio. Kubus Reinach and Marnie Lebok, 9 and 10. Uh, the center pairing of Andre Esteres and Lucanio Arm. Lovely, love that. And then the back three of Makozolo Mapimpi, Kurtli Aronsa, and Apalele Fasi. On the bench, so we've got Andre Inhu Fenter, then Nchunku, Trevon Yakane, Ruan Fenter, Alrich Lowe. Mone van den Berg, um, Sasha Feinberg, Gumuzulu, and Quinn Horn. Whew, man, just show, like, first off the bat, just shows the absolute depth Springboks have at this moment. Oh, man, that front row, like, I think, what was it? Was it Jan, Johan Grobola that was brought into the squad in 2021? But he's only going to win his first cap this weekend, 2024. Talk about being patient. Wow. Um, exciting. Glad to see Thomas Tatoy get a crack. Um, he's been exceptional for Bath in the Premiership. I think leading uh, try scorer almost for Bath or for the comp. Something ridiculous. Scored a ridiculous amount of tries. Got best forward in the competition. And good to see him get rewarded for that. It's a big talking point, Salman Murat, um, getting the captain's armband. He's captain through all the grades, at school, at provincial level. Good. I When when Korne Kricher came out saying Ivan Ruiz should be captain for the Springboks, I, in that video I did for that, I said that Salman Murat is probably a better choice. Come from the same school, boys, I. Um, and has, has got... He's got a history of captaining teams. You can't just out of the blue just start captaining teams. Uh, it takes a bit of it takes a bit of know how um, to get him to get into that position. I feel like um, talk about the boys' eye influence in the squad. So you got Salmon Murat, Ivan Ruiz from Boys' Eye, and then Fenter and Quinn Horn. Quite a few boys' eyes. Uh, Paul Boys' Eye, good to see. And if I miss someone, sorry. Um, then obviously the so the locks great we've all seen what they can do it's good to see them get a starting opportunity the loose trio workhorses man work horses uh, Butelezi and Ivan Ruiz will be looking to carry the ball a little bit more and then you can look at Ben Jason Dixon getting through a ton of work represent the Paul Ruiz getting through a ton of work I feel like he's almost he's a similar player to Franco Mostert Gets through so much work, a ton of tackles, good line out option, um, good, hits a lot of rocks, and just that workhorse donkey work that no one really wants to do or talk about. He's that type of player. Almost it's, it's like a smaller Peter Stefter toy mold. Uh, ben Jason Dixon. I see a, bit, a bright future for him in the green and gold. Love to see the match or the combination of Kubus Reinach and Marnie Labork again. I think the last time we saw that was versus France in the semi-final of the World Cup. 
Um, and they haven't played together since. Quality players, man. Give them time. They have also haven't played rugby in a while. Get get them going. Get them out there. Um, let's see how they can work with this new attack shape that we've got going with Tony Brown's brought in. And these are both attacking mindsetted players. Um, Marnie LeBorg loves to run the ball. He's got good skill, overall skill set. His distribution is beautiful. His short kicking game is exceptional. We all know the, the no-look um, cross kick, the little the little chip kicks. Uh, he's got, a, like I said, a strong passing game as well. So that'll put him in good stead with this uh, new attack shape that we're going to throw. And, and best believe they're going to throw this attack shape. They're going to go all out at it in this game. Combination, the center combo of Esterazen and Lucanio Arm. Man, good World Cup winners. Just let's go. Give them, give them the ball. Let Andre Esterazen truck it up. Let Lucanio Arm tackle his ass off. But also got the little, the sneaky skills. I love his soft skills, man. The little sneaky offloads, the goose, the handoff with. The little offload uh, is just a quality play, and he does it all while chewing gum. Watch if they show a close-up of Lucanio Arm while he's playing. Man's chewing gum. What? <laughs> while he's playing? Just shows, relaxed, relaxed, just doing my thing, man. Um, and then finishes in the back, man. Give them space, give them space, give them the ball. Can't wait to see what Apolele Farsi can do again at international level. He was fantastic for the box against Wales. Um, and then Mapimpi and Aransa, been there, done it. Let's go, give me the ball. I just love how this, the opportunity that this game poses, man, that, uh, to give these guys, again, Give these guys opportunity. It is an international game. After all, I don't care who it's against. These guys are going to go in there. All guns blazing. I wish I had the Portuguese team up. They haven't announced it yet because this is kind of the preview as well. To be honest, I don't know much of the Portuguese players, but they're going to come. I know they're passionate. We saw in the World Cup some upsets or some close to some upsets. Very passionate rugby players or passionate um, sportsmen, passionate people. Um, and they'll be coming with everything they've got. Um, on the bench, and you look for guys like Ihu Fenter, son of Andre Fenter, famous Springbok flanker, for him to get his debut. That'll be fantastic. Uh, Fenter to get his debut. Uh, Mornay van der Baer to get his debut. And Quinn Horn to get a debut as well. And then the st- on the starting lineup, it's so Jan Hendrik Vessels, Johan Grobelaar, and Pepsi Butelezi to get their run on debuts. Love, love it. I love it. This, this is, yes, there's a lot of de- debutants here, but there's so much experience, man. There's two time World Cup winners in this squad still. It's a fantastic squad. Just shows again the depth. Um, like I said, how this game is going to run out, how I see it playing out, is it's going to be super physical the first 30, 40, maybe even 50 minutes, and then it could break away like to be honest man yes you don't want to underestimate any team but South Africa sit and thanks to short ball rugby for this South Africa sit first on the world rugby rankings and Portugal sit 15th so it's a big difference there um, on the world rugby rankings ladder and it's like I said it's good to see that these teams play against each other so I do think it'll be tough physical in the first Half or first 30 minutes, Portuguese, Portugal are going to come out with everything they've got, physical, passionate, um, but then I do see Springboks running away with it. I would even put two try, Ivan Ruiz to get a double and Kurtley Orenser to get a double. I don't know what that's paying. I'm not a gambling man, but I'm going to go Springboks by 40 points. Springboks by 40 points. I hope I'm not jumping the gun there. <laughs> Let me know what you guys think in the comments. What do you think of the team? How do you think the game's going to go? Hit that subscribe and I'll see you next time. Bye.